Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. Future plans for the area at Wooddale Avenue and Valley View Road are coming together. Consultant staff and a team of residents and business owners are wrapping up work on a small area plan to guide the future redevelopment of the mostly commercial area. Work began in June on the small area plan when residents and business owners in the 11-acre space were first asked what they would like the neighborhood to look like in 10 to 20 years. Well, I think the most important thing is, is why we're doing it, and I, I think it's, it's trying to get sort of ahead of the curve. It's an area that's ripe for change. It's already been identified in our comp plan. The group has since drafted nine organizing principles for future development, which they want to be recognized as a destination and visually attractive. A commercial or public gathering place and a mix of businesses to serve area residents is desired, though the recommendation is that some current commercial or office buildings be allowed to turn over to housing if the market demands. Future buildings may be one to three stories in height, depending on their relative location to single-family housing. The residents' feedback was that they want to keep this area as a neighborhood node. They want it to be a place where it's central to the neighborhood, where there are retail businesses that can meet some of their needs, and also we heard a lot about outdoor gathering spaces, ease of uh, walking and biking and using other modes of transportation. The Planning Commission will review the draft plan this month, holding a public hearing on February 25th. The City Council is expected to hold a public hearing and act on the plan in March. When someone retires, they sometimes ask themselves, what am I going to do with all my free time? Former Edina Senior Center Director Sue Weigel, who's just a few years into her retirement, has found quite the opposite to be true. Edina 16's Matt Koskinen has more on the story. When Sue Weigel left her job of over 30 years as Senior Center Director, she had a plan. Oh, I planned on volunteering. That was the good part about my retirement is I knew that, you know, the people are the most important part of your job when you're working here. They're just so endearing and it's, they're just so wonderful. And so I just didn't want to let go of that. And so I knew by volunteering and coming over and being a part of the, of the program that I would get to see the folks that really have become friends of mine. Sue is among a group of city employees who started in the late 70s and stayed with the city through the turn of the millennium. The modern Edina Senior Center was born out of this generation. The Senior Center originally was at the TCF Bank in Edina, and they had a coffee room, and it kind of grew from there. People were like my grandparents when I started, and then they kind of became like my parents, and then finally at the end they became my friends. Sue met many volunteers throughout her career, including Kay Bach. I did some volunteering when they were doing uh, flu shots. And so then I met Sue that way, and she said, well, just come, just come whenever you can. Over the years, Kay learned the important role volunteers play in operating the Senior Center. We were trying to convince the city that we needed to really get involved and have something that was a place to go for the seniors in Edina. And of course, there are a lot of, you know, about a third of the population are seniors here in Edina. So it just kind of mushroomed one thing after another. Senior Center Supervisor Donna Tilsner sees Sue as a great example of a senior balancing volunteerism and play in retirement. When she comes in to volunteer or she's coming to play Scrabble, everybody, Sue, when are you coming back? And it's really been a really fun thing to watch and, and have her, you know, still be a part of things that way. So she's kind of one step on either side of the door. She's volunteering and still working with us, and now she's participating in some of the activities as well. But it's been a nice role model for me to watch and see what's going on and how she's um, maintaining her friendships here and being able to go have some fun, which is that's why we're all working is let's go have some fun after. So I really admire her for that. Sue doesn't plan on stopping volunteering anytime soon. As long as my mind and my body are good, why wouldn't I? Yeah. At the Edina Senior Center, Matt Koskinen, Edina 16. Interested in volunteering? Contact the Edina Senior Center to find out more about volunteer opportunities and activities. Edina residents may soon be able to take up a new hobby, beekeeping. The City Council last month gave preliminary approval to an ordinance amendment allowing beekeeping in the city. 
Uh, Dinah is part of the Green Step Cities program, which uh, recommends uh, beekeeping as part of the uh, local food uh, movement. Uh, not only is it great for honey, but it also teaches kids about the uh, environment. And it will raise awareness among residents that they will need to uh, reduce pesticides and plant more habitat, more flowers for pollinators, because all pollinators are in decline, not just bees. Apiaries would be limited to two per half acre with a maximum of 12. A 20-foot setback from the property line would also be required and apiaries in front yards would be forbidden. Notification of neighbors within 200 feet would be required. The council accepted the proposal on first reading but asked supporters to return with a more detailed process for appeals. The council could adopt the beekeeping ordinance on second reading later this month. Thanks for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.